Lucas Media. So we got more news coming out of the boxing world. Tank Davis, who's known for posting stuff on Twitter, Instagram, then deleting it within a few minutes, shared some things when it came to Ryan Garcia. He basically came out defending Ryan, and everybody knows that he's been doing this for a while, where he feels like they're trying to set Ryan Garcia up. He believes that Ryan Garcia beat Devin Haney fair and square, even though Devin Haney was found to be cheated by Ryan Garcia when Ryan Garcia tested positive for Ostrine. Now, you do have his diehard fanboys who don't care about boxing like that. They're still riding with him. There are all these different boxing groups talking about how Devin Haney would have won, would have still lost. But what nobody's arguing is that he was on the juice. Well, Tank Davis came out and defended him again, um, basically saying that it's BS. I'm paraphrasing it and that it's not true. And here you have Ryan Garcia talking about, I love you, bro. And look, I was arguing with somebody in this boxing group the other day. Let's just be honest. Tang Davis wants another payday. If you look up Tang Davis, Ryan Garcia with Ellie setback, he literally told Ellie that he's willing to fight Ryan Garcia at 140 pounds, even though he wouldn't fight Devin Haney at 140 pounds. And he talked about how he, I'm a, or Leonard Ellaby talked about, I'm a hundred, he's a 135 pounder. He's a 135 pounder, but he's willing to move up to fight Ryan Garcia because we all know that he knocked him out last year in the seventh round with the, with the body shot and it was over but tank is just trying to cash in again he don't he don't care he could care less that ryan garcia was juiced up like the hawk against Devin haney because he's going to make sure him and floyd then will make sure that ryan garcia goes through ex extensive testing it, hell, it might even be Vada, USADA, and u.s olympic testing and british testing and whatever else testing you can think of but it's unfortunate that he's not staying on cold. See, the thing when it comes to boxing, right? People ride for their fighters, and as you should. But you got Canelo who tested positive, which he still gets in his feelings about. You got a whole country riding behind him. Ryan Garcia tests positive. You got a whole pretty much cult of people following behind him and, and a country since Ryan Garcia is Mexican descent. But when it comes to us, you got plenty of people. And it's these big time channels. I'm not going to say no names, but you have people that are still riding with Ryan Garcia, even though the man tested positive and it ain't got so bad that Ryan Garcia went and got a hair sample or got his hair tested and said, oh, I'm, oh, I'm clean. But we don't know if it's true. We don't know if it was his actual hair. Nobody from Devin Haney's representation was there. And even their website says that it doesn't override urine and blood samples. So, you know, it's just a ploy. And I just wish that Ryan fans would just come out and say, we don't care about him being on performance enhancements. And if you say that, fine. I don't want to hear them about Alicia Bumgarner. I don't want to hear them about Connor Ben. I don't want to hear about them about the, about the rest of these fighters. And I've noticed like the Tyson Furies, the Ryan Garcias, the Canelos, they can literally take steroids in front of you or some type of performance enhancements. And you're going to look at me and say, I don't know what I'm talking about. But I just wish these bigger channels would just, it's okay to ride with Devin. We are, listen, this is wrong. I don't care if Devin was juiced up, I will be coming after Devin. As fight fans, we don't want to see our sport is already corrupt because it's more of a business than it is a, a boxing. But it would be nice. It would be great to see fighters going there with integrity. You already going in the ring. Uh, when you go in the ring, you're not the same person as when you come out. So why we can't be clean? And if you lose, cool. If you win, cool. I can't I can't rock with it. I didn't watch sports. I didn't seen I didn't see all type of cheating in boxing my whole life. I remember being a little boy watching Riddick Bow versus Holyfield. I might have been maybe seven and you seen the fan man come in and people said that that threw off Riddick Bow's uh, uh his movement that he had going on to where Holyfield ended up winning.
I know that's not performance enhancements, but I just want to give an example where, you know, anything can happen in boxing. And let's just let's just be on integrity. I remember Tevin Farmer lost. I forget which guy he fought, but he already had, I think, three losses, four losses. He ended up taking a loss, and then the guy ended up coming testing positive for banned substance. His loss ended up turning to a no contest, and I seen people riding with Tevin back then. So why we can't do that with Devin Haney? Why can't all the boxing media sites and the boxing fans and the boxers, all the fighters come out and ride with him? Why is there people still throwing shots at Devin Haney even though he lost? But see, they do this when it comes to stuff like us. You know, but some of y'all, y'all don't understand that. You know, but when it comes to Canelo, you can't say nothing about him. It's so bad that the WBC created a franchise belt, a made up belt. And then when it came to Devin Haney, they said, oh, the belt is a real belt. They made this stuff up on the fly. Just so Canelo wouldn't drop the belt and have to pay the sanctioning fees. So that just lets you know that the integrity really isn't there. But come on, man. Let's at least test clean. And there's a lot of things I, I have issues with Floyd about. I don't like the way how he treats certain fighters. And it's a lot. But one thing that I, I appreciate what he did was he tried to clean up the sport of boxing as far as people getting on drugs or performance enhancements. We got people really hurting people, and some people have lives that have ended, and we don't know what these people are on if they're not taking a drug test. And again, Tang, if you were to make 30, 40, 50 million, just say you don't care, man, because we all know, everybody knows that Ryan Garcia was on performance enhancements. And the funny thing is, again, if Ryan go out there and he clean your clock, people are going to say, even your team will say, man, Ryan was on something, even if you even if you lose. So, Tank, you better be careful, man, because these same people that in snake Devin Haney and turn their back on him, they'll turn their back on you as well. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.